The second step is action. I would like to share my views on my ambition for my country. A person without ambition is a bird without rudder. He just does not know how to make a proper use of his life and labor. God has made everybody for some purpose in the world. It's the duty of every one of us to find that purpose and pursue it throughout our lives. Ambition is a great incentive to work. If you have an ambition, you can pursue it all your life. The whole world is open before a young man and he should make up his mind about his career as early as possible. Most of the people work to have as much money as possible so that they have easy, comfortable and luxurious lives. But money is not everything in the world. My own ambition is not that category. Wealth, power and possessions do not tempt me. My one and single aim is to serve my country. How can I serve my nation? I feel I can serve my people the best way to cater to the needs of the coming generations. My ambition is to become a teacher with a missionary zeal. A true teacher is a builder of nation and an architect of national destiny. I shall mold the character of my students and see that they became ideal citizens. I shall also help them in the choice of their careers. They must grow up to great engineers, great doctors, great teachers, great philosophers and statesmen. As an ideal teacher, I must have a flawless character and I should be a lighthouse to all coming generations. I shall be a living model of punctuality, discipline, efficiency, humility and uprightness. A good profession is its own reward and to produce able citizens is the greatest prize for a true ideal and a great teacher. As my goal, I wish to impart the right education and inculcate the refined qualities among the young minds and make them the torchbearers of the country. The point of serving your country is not to do your own thing or to go rogue, but to work as part of the process.